Tina koto katoa, no mai, haere mai. Welcome to the session about KPMG today. I'd like to start off by acknowledging the mana whenua of the area that you see as a part of. Ko tine taku mihi, ki nga mana whenua, o torohi nei, ko ngai Ka mihi hoki o ki nga tohu, o te rohi nei. Hi, my name's Dave, and I'm a career consultant at UC Careers, where you can get help with all things career related from deciding what your dream job might be to helping you succeed in securing employment, both while you're studying and when you've finished your degree. We've got 40 minutes today for the presentation from KPMG, and we'll have 10 minutes for questions after that, but please feel free to pop any questions into the chat as they come up for you, and we'll address them at the end. I'm looking forward to hearing all about KPMG, so um, a big welcome to Linnea and the team, and thanks for being here today. Over to you guys. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for the introduction and kia ora everyone. Um, we're really excited to be here presenting to you today. So thanks so much for taking the time to dial in. Um, my name is Linnea and I'm part of the graduate experience team at KPMG. So looking after everything from um, recruitment to coming to Expo, speaking to you online um, and then through to your induction once you start. Um, so in this session, I'm going to run through a little bit about KPMG and our recruitment process. Um, and then we have a few of our awesome team to speak to you about their journeys with KPMG. Um, and then we will shoot into questions. So like Dave said, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the chat box as we go along and we'll answer those at the end. Um, so we have just finished our first round of recruitment for the year. So our roles are currently closed, um, but we are opening up again on the 18th of July. So we'll be recruiting for 2022 interns starting November this year and 2023 graduates starting March 2023. Um, if you are graduating or finishing your studies mid this year, don't be deterred from applying. Um, in some instances, we can be flexible with start date. So we are seeing more and more people that are sort of having a July finish. So definitely still apply and just let us know in your application form. Um, these are some of the teams listed that we will be recruiting for. Um, within I realize this is sort of like a STEM um, expo. Week. Um, so technology related roles and that is growing all the time. So make sure you keep an eye out on our careers website um, because we are gonna be having a lot more come up. So, um, all right, so KPMG New Zealand, we have seven offices nationwide. We have nearly 1500 staff and we're growing all the time. Um, Auckland being our biggest office and we have you know, lots of different numbers all over the country. Globally, um, so you may know that we are a professional services firm and we're part of a global network who employ loads of people all over the world. Um, like it says here in non-COVID times, we do send staff on short or long-term secondments all over the globe. Um, so very exciting. We are um, looking to kick these off later in the year. So this is where sort of some of our team and our quiet periods might go over to another KPMG somewhere around the world during their busy time to help out for a few months. So it's a great way to see the world um, and while staying working with KPMG. Um, so probably the most um, interesting slide that I'm going to speak about is the steps to join our whānau. Um, so basically you will start with researching KPMG. We want to know um, that you want to work for us as much as you know you yeah, um, so you'd research using our website, potentially our LinkedIn page, or you have made the best first step by coming along today. Um, networking, I can't emphasize enough how important this is, speaking to the team, you'll hear lots. Um, then you would apply online through our careers website. We don't ask for a cover letter, which I think is a great perk. Um, instead, we do ask a long answer question. So make sure you complete this. Um, we also ask for your CV and an unofficial transcript. So once your application is screened by myself and my colleague Emma, you'll be asked to complete a video interview and a online questionnaire, which is um, our psychometric testing. 
this um, video questionnaire will involve three questions um, and they take about a couple of minutes each and the psychometric test will take about 10 minutes to complete. Um, make sure you find a quiet space and focus as much as you can to complete these. I also know lots of the universities do offer workshops on um, and practice examples of psychometric testing. So make sure you speak to your careers team. Um, once you've completed those, then you will receive an invitation to meet our teams, either by completing an interview or coming along to an assessment day. After this step, you will um, either be successful in gaining an offer or um, we will provide you with sort of extensive feedback as to why you were unsuccessful. Um, don't let this deter you from applying again. We do have lots of graduates who have started that get in the second or third time um, they apply. We do have lots more opportunities that come out throughout the year, not just in our um, first round of recruitment. So yeah, there might maybe something that suits you better that comes up in July than there was in March. All right, so these are some of the um, awesome benefits that we offer if you start as a graduate. Um, so I'll let you um, read through some of these. Um, some that are not on here is that we do offer a, we call it STIP internally, but it's essentially a bonus um, on top of your salary. So this um, payment amount is basically like how the company can, uh, performs and how the, your, you perform in your role that will determine how much you get. So that's a great little incentive. We also do offer a clothing allowance when you come on as a graduate, um, which is a nice little sum of money to help you as well. Um, obviously pointing out that we have a, a lot of social events across all of our offices. Um, we do help you with um, qualifications. We would um, help you cover some of the cost and offer study leave and things like that. Say if you're wanting to um, do your chartered accountancy, your law profs, or you know any other professional qualification you were interested in. Um, also, the volunteer leave is really great. So we offer one day per year to do, um, which is paid. So you can go volunteer um, at something you're interested in. You can do that as a, with your team or um, by yourself, whatever you're sort of interested in. And then, yeah, there's lots of other things like flexible working, um, learning opportunities. Right, so enough from me. Um, we have some of our awesome team members to speak to you today about their journey with KPMG and what they do sort of day to day. So Akshantha, are you on the call? Yep, I am. Awesome, I'll hand over to you. Cool. Hi guys, um, my name is Akshita and I work with the audit data and innovation team and I started as a grad last year. So currently my second year now and like Lenair mentioned, really watch out for the second round of hiring because luckily I got through that one, though mine was deterred by COVID. So um, the Audit DNI team is a newly set up division within Audit because we are capitalizing on the resources of being a large firm and leveraging more analytics into our audit processes. So we try using advanced analytics capabilities to assist the audit teams in their various testings required. We use like a range of tools from like SQL to Alteryx and we're like constantly developing and changing these tools with like to assist teams with their large data sets which are just coming through every other day now. So since this is within the audit division, we are a bit more commerce oriented than the other tech roles on offer right now. So I we are looking for like a mix of both, a unique mix of commerce and analytics interests. And we do like candidates who are looking forward to doing their CA and we like, we have assistance with the qualified teams which help you sort out any CA or even other qualifications you wanna look into because the teams are supportive on gaining all sorts of knowledge you want to, very supportive. But yeah, we, are, we work nationally with all of our KPMG teams throughout New Zealand, sometimes leveraging our other global partners. So very interesting space to be in if you're interested in both commerce and analytics. And I will hand it back to Lanier. 
Thank you. And yeah, keep an eye out in the second round because we are going to have roles uh, available for Actanthus team. Um, Chris, if you are online, I'll hand over to you. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Tanya. Everyone, I'm uh, Chris Hinks. I'm in our deal advisory, uh, deal analytics team in Christchurch. So I'm a manager and um, I've got a background both in science and in uh, finance and accounting. And um, in my role, uh, you know, I work in Christchurch, but um, I service the whole New Zealand essentially. We're a very small team, uh, but a very fast growing team. Um, the partnership sees uh, all these deals. Uh, sees deal analytics as being you know, one of the most important growth areas for the firm and uh, a major focus area going forward. As it's becoming more and more relevant, right, as um, companies are collecting more and more data, um, you need people with skills to uh, analyze this data. And so what we do in a nutshell, like the day-to-day -day, uh, for our, our work that we do, it, it's always like pretty um, pretty big projects and like pretty um, like well-known um, entities that we're working for. And so oftentimes ends up in the media, like so I can say like mergers and acquisitions, um, that kind of thing, like ones I can speak to is like my food bag. Uh, when they IPO'd, um, it originally was trying to sell it to a private sale originally, but they um, went down the IPO path. So we're brought on to do some uh, deep, a deep dive into their data. Um, whereas like our traditional deal advisory um, analysts would not be able to do that kind of heavy lifting. And um, we do a lot of government stuff as well, like some very, very high profile um, projects there as well. Um, a lot of them we can't talk about, unfortunately. Um, but we do a lot of stuff around just like infrastructure, right? There's um, a lot happening right now in the infrastructure space. And so having the government um, kind of understand what's going on, which is a big thing, uh, these big projects, um, you know, what's happening in, the, um, in these projects and just getting good information and be able to report that information. And so we use um, quite an array of like tools and skills, uh, skill sets. That's so very, very um, commercial. It sounds like a lot like um, Ashkatha um, in her role. It's uh, very commercially oriented. Um, it's, and it's also very, very like short. It's what we call it deal speed. Oftentimes a deal will be um, done within a month, right? And, uh, and we have to jump in there and analyze all this data, um, derive some like deep insights from this data in a very short time. Um, and so that means we don't get too technical. We do do like, it is a very technical role, but we, um, we're up there like, you know, for months on end developing like, you know, a, a full service uh, platform, say like in like, you know, um, data science projects, you know, we might end up developing a piece of software. Um, it's very, very quick um, analytics focus. So we use it a lot, a bunch of different tools such as, um, you know, Power BI and Alteryx. Um, and SQL Server, <clears throat> and um, it's very programming heavy. So we do a lot of um, a lot of work in DAX uh, and M, uh, Python and SQL, um, and it's just very fun. It's like yeah, you get like a couple like a couple of months at most to jump in there and um, pull the business to pieces, uh, find the value or you know find the issues, um, and then um, then, you, then you're done. And then oftentimes uh, the, the you know client you're working on. Uh, be or make the news, you know, be like, you know, some new merger and acquisition or, um, or sale or, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, so it's just like it's a very, very fun job. It's love that um, very fast pace, you never bored. Um, and, and it's very demanding. You, know, you get these like really, like, really tricky problems. Uh, they're expected to jump in there and solve really quickly. Um, so that's what I really enjoy about it. And, and just like the other high profile, right, the work, um, everything that I work on um, is a good work story. Yeah, it's like, yeah, as people know about, who hear about these projects uh, that we're working on like through the media and stuff, and being able to, um, you know, put your name to it is pretty cool. Um, and then the qualifications, it's, um, yeah, I did do a bit of programming at university, but, um, you know, I'm, like, I'm definitely using my finance side a lot, um, but also what I took from my, uh, I did like a Bachelor of Science, uh, what I'm using for my Bachelor of Science in my role is more or less like analytical thinking, just like being good at solving problems and, and be, uh, diving deep into these problems is very, very valuable. And so to anyone looking to uh, join KPMG, you know, just be cool. You know, just be like a, a you know, friendly, approachable uh, person. You know, you don't necessarily um, have to be a superstar, but just be well-rounded, you know, um, 
bring um, good technical skills um, as well as a good attitude, and um, I'm sure we'll do well. Awesome, thanks, Chris. Um, DL Analytics is another team that's growing um, very fast, so we are yeah recruiting for them for graduate roles this year. Um, but yeah, sounds like they're doing some very exciting work. Um, Jack, if you're online, I'll let you speak about your time at KPMG. Cool, thanks, Linnea. Um, kia ora everyone, I'm Jack Royal. I'm in the Lighthouse team in Wellington. Um, we're kind of focused on, I guess, the more, maybe a slightly more technical side of things than the uh, Audit DNI team and the DL Analytics team. Um, Maybe to give an idea of my background, I come from a pretty technical background from my studies. So I joined KPMG as a grad uh, last year um, and I studied computer science and data science uh, down in Otago. In terms of kind of the people that we're looking for and what we do from a day-to-day -day basis, um, we are pretty technically focused, um, but also kind of do a lot of consulting um, along the way. So kind of my day-to-day, -day, um, it's pretty cliched, but it does vary a lot. Um, and that's kind of the nature of consulting. Um, but I'd say it's a pretty even mix of pure technical work. So pure technical development. So um, building data pipelines and writing code and stuff like that, but also kind of showing off that work to clients. Um, so yeah, my week this week has been filled with um, showcasing dashboards um, uh, to a variety of clients, um, but also developing that and documenting and um, all the stuff that comes along with um, developing a technical solution. Um, traditionally, Lighthouse has been focused on the data and analy analytics side, but due to kind of the, the large amount of growth that we've had over the last few years, um, we're looking at expanding pretty rapidly and um, kind of moving further afield from just data and analytics and looking to kind of widen our scope into the entire technical spectrum. So um, we have roles that, that will be client facing. So um, similar to what I do, so uh, like a data consultant, but also um, kind of back office more focused on just pure application development. So if you're interested in software engineering and developing software and um, that kind of stuff, but not not as much interested in, in as uh, in terms of dealing with clients. There's plenty of roles available in that space. But if you're someone like me who kind of enjoys the technical side of things, but also um, enjoys the consulting side as well, um, there's plenty of roles um, in both spaces. Um, but but similar to uh, what Chris said before, we're looking for you know, technical people with a passion for technology and um, kind of experience programming and come from a technical background. Um, but yeah, there's kind of a wide variety of roles available. And I guess that's the good thing about the tech sector and kind of how it's developing in a professional service, services capacity is that um, there's just massive growth in the industry and there's kind of roles available for everyone. Um, like I said before, if you're wanting to purely um, do technical work, um, and just be writing code all day that's available and then also if you want to be um, doing a mix of things um, yeah that's also available uh, so um, yeah if anyone has any questions feel free to fire them in the chat or um, yeah but thanks Linnea. Thanks Jack I know I'm saying this about everyone's team but Lighthouse is seriously growing fast we have yeah. loads of roles um, also, uh, if you jump on our careers website next week, we are hopefully going to be opening up a lighthouse role. Um, so if you search undergrad, there'll just be one singular role um, or maybe a couple and we'll be opening that um, for a very short time just to meet the growth needs, um, which is very exciting. Um, so yeah, Nicole, if you are online, we'd love to hear from you and what your team does. Cool. Uh, thanks, Linnea. Um, hey, everyone. I am Nicole, and I am part of the tech consulting team up here in Auckland. So we sit under management consulting, but uh, we do a bit more of the technical aspect as well. Um, similar to Jack's role in Lighthouse, we, do, uh, we dive deep into um, both the consulting aspect of a problem while also doing uh, having the opportunity to do some development work as well. So uh, more specifically within the tech consulting team, I'm in a team called the um, 
the ServiceNow team. So we specialize in uh, ServiceNow implementations. And what uh, ServiceNow, what ServiceNow basically is, is it's a cloud platform that um, enhances business processes for um, a lot of our clients and businesses. And uh, we're, we help them basically um, migrate their business processes over to use ServiceNow as a platform to um, enhance their business processes and make them more easier to use. And um, yeah, so basically on a day-to-day -day basis for what our team does is it's quite um, varied, like Jack said, um, but in, in our team, uh, there's a lot of uh, catching up with the clients um, just in terms of gathering requirements or um, working in a very agile way um, as a lot of tech teams do. Um, so a lot, of our pro uh, a lot of our engagements with clients are through projects. So uh, we, have a, we run it through in a very agile way. Um, so doing a lot of those sprints, doing a lot of those um, uh, morning uh, catch-ups as well, and um, just keeping the team updated with all our progress as well. Um, and then, yeah, so I'd say about 50 to 60% would be um, chatting to clients. And then the other, um, other proportion would be doing the um, proper development work. So uh, we have the pleasure to do a little bit of front end developing just in terms of JavaScript and also configuring ServiceNow to um, our clients as well, which is a great mixture between the, um, the business kind of consulting side while also um, getting to use your um, technical side um, as well. So um, I studied a um, Bachelor of Science of Computer Science and Information Systems, uh, which I personally feel is perfect for the role, just in terms of um, being able to use both my um, coding side for as a passion under computer science, and while also using the consulting side under information systems. Um, and I guess the uh, most rewarding or enjoyable thing about uh, my role here at KPMG is that KPMG offers a wide range of uh, clients um, around a wide range of industries. And um, that's probably one of the strengths uh, working in a professional service. You get to do, uh, dive into a lot of um, different types of industries and really see how technology can really enable all these clients in different industries and how they're all really interchangeable, which is a great way to um, really increase your knowledge about um, technology and how it's helpful around the, um, around the world as well. Um, I guess also just a top tip for someone looking to apply for KPMG um, in any role, um, I'd really say do your research just in terms of whether um, you think KPMG is a good fit for you and um, really just be yourself when you're applying. Um, I definitely feel like um, if you do definitely feel like it's a KPMG is a great fit for you, um, KPMG will definitely feel the same about that as well. So um, that's probably my top tip. Um, just be yourself. Um, don't be nervous, don't be shy, um, and definitely do your research on the firm and networking, like Linnea said, is a great way to um, find out more information about the firm. Um, and then I guess just to quickly touch on the different kind of groups that um, KPMG offers um, internally. So I'm part of the Toastmasters group at KPMG, uh, which focuses on um, public speaking. So um, it's a great way to improve your public speaking um, just in terms of whether it's in a business setting or just in a quite social setting as well. Um, and uh, KPMG actually funds that for um, our, our group here currently um, within Auckland. And um, there are also other uh, great social uh, groups and sports groups that KPM KPMG funds so that you know we have a great time both um, inside and outside of work. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my spiel of my experience at KPMG and I'll uh, bring it back to you, Linnea. Thanks, Nicole. That was awesome and great shout out um, about our groups. We have loads of different affinity groups um, based on, you know, anything you're interested in really there's we have Kiwa, our Māori and Pacifica group we have the accessibility network Toastmasters social club so many different things so um yeah we can speak more about that if anyone's interested afterwards um but Stefan if you are on the call we'd love to hear from you Hi, yeah, thanks, Lene. So just a bit about me and about, about the team first. So yeah, my name's Stefan. I'm a manager at the, in the Autotech Risk team. So I'm currently based in Christchurch and we've got, um, as Lene has mentioned, everybody's growing really fast and I think we are no exception. So we effectively are currently really building out our function around the country and I think Christchurch is a very high focus point for us and why that is the case is um, our team mainly focuses on assisting audits so historically audit has been and whether the cliche comes from being bean counters or usually was focused on finance and just on number counting and number crunching where 
companies and entities are really focusing and moving towards a more tech driven sort of approach in the normal standard business processes and that's pretty much where we fit in so we get to that marriage between understanding business and finance and as well as looking at your control environments um, and your technology that's been implemented effectively to to get those financials and get that information from a yeah a standard transaction to actually sitting on the financial statements and what's really quite exciting about our team as well is we do focus on your larger more complex sort of clients um, so we pretty much do work across the largest telecoms, um, food manufacturing, uh, as well as financial institutions like banks. So really understanding their business processes and with us really focused on understanding the risk, we always get a really high level sort of understanding of that business as a whole, which is for me, from my personal interest, um, I'm a quite a curious person. So that really fits into my my sort of drive and understanding these processes and these businesses in more detail. So there's always new things to learn. There's always uh, new things that we need to adapt and train ourselves up on just purely because that's where the industry is working towards. So yeah, uh, it's, as I mentioned, due to that, we are really um, growing quite rapidly and we are focusing on really working on a national basis. So even though I'm here in Christchurch, we still work on the large list that's sitting mainly in New Zealand. Or, um, so it would be Auckland, Wellington, and even in some of the Australia cities, we also do some work for some of those clients purely because of this inter-Tasman sort of um, environments that we are currently working in. So yeah, if it's something that you are interested in and looking at the technical aspect of it from a pure technology side, as well as understanding businesses, understanding risk, understanding those processes and having a bit of a, an interest in the financial side, I think this is a really good um, meeting point ultimately of the, all of those different things that you can do um, and that you can understand. And yeah, I think this is also a great job if you wanna, um, go out and effectively upskill yourself or go into business this is a really good stepping stone in getting that general sort of environment feeling that you have um, because yeah it's, it's it's always changing so yeah I think that's pretty much the the gist of it so I think I rambled on quite a bit about that but um, effectively what we do on a day-to-day -day basis just putting all those theoretical things into action um, we are really on the ground quite a lot um, with the clients sitting with them understanding the environments trying to see if there's any sort of risks and we then have to go back, um, get that sort of information based on the instructions and the needs, as well as our internal audit team, which is our main client at this stage, and really understand what the, the details are of that environment. So with KPMG being well-respected, there's quite a high sort of trust on what we do deliver for them. And that does give you um, that ability to really show your worth ultimately and yeah, get yourself established in the marketplace. and as we also would then go back and look at um, digesting any sort of data that we do receive. So that could be using general things like Excel, or it could be looking at it from a idea perspective, which is one of our general audit tools that we use as well. And then from a controls aspect, we are currently implementing um, so self-developed bots that is being run by KPMG internationally. Um, and these would effectively help you then getting those controls assurances and understanding sort of where the risks sit in uh, the relevant control environments of the clients. So yeah, it's it's quite a, a fast evolving environment. And I think we are just gonna keep growing and maybe start um, being more the, the central centralized team effectively on audits going forward. Um, just from myself and how I got into doing this, this gig. So effectively, I actually started off as a finance auditor, realized that just purely doing a bunch of recons every single day isn't really for me. Um, and that's when I then did pivot into this uh, hybrid finance tech role ultimately. So uh, it's always possible to, to change those sort of requirements, the skills that you do have. And that's exactly what I did. And then you can go and specialize. So currently I am in a chartered accountant as well as a, a CSTA, so certified information systems auditor. And that then gives you that Based of both worlds, which you can then apply and give that that value back to the clients. So, just a top tip from my end, um, I think if you really want to be uh, successful at KPMG, I think like um, all the predecessors did say, is be yourself. I think it's it's uh, 
can't emphasize that enough. Um, I got that feedback from some of our newly recruited grads as well, um, because we are just a bunch of people that um, want to have a good time and we do work hard, but we do like spending time with our team members. And yeah, we, we do really focus on those personal um, connections as well. And another thing I can also mention is just to my earlier point, being curious helps a lot and wanting to learn because I think there's always going to be ample space to learn new things and upskill yourself and gain experience in a place like KPMG. And it's just really going and grasping those opportunities effectively. So I think that's my two top tips. Um, and yeah, I think that's from a, a commentee perspective. So we at KPMG, we do really appreciate and take value from our uh, our team members so we have quite a lot of social functions and um, activities that we do share that includes things like uh, volunteering that we get to full day of volunteering so we as a team go out and really add something to the community as well so yeah i think that's pretty much it from mine so Lene, i can give it back to you Cool, thank you so much. Um, yeah, lots of exciting things going on in Audit Tech Risk as well. Um, and keep an eye out. I'm sure we will have roles available in July for their team. Um, so we have a question in the chat um, from Josiah. I think that sort of wraps up, concludes our presentation. Um, so Josiah wants to know, he has actually got a question for Nicole what are the main technical skills desired for your team? He is just finishing up an Infosys and computer science degree as well. Awesome, um, thanks Josiah for the question. Um, so sp specifically in our team, uh, tech consulting is quite, um, quite flexible just in terms of um, what kind of aspect you wanna focus on. So we have general tech consulting roles um, out as well. Um, I'm sure that we have those um, graduate roles out every year, but those focus more on like project management, cloud implementations, and some general your some of your general um, general tech kind of engagements. And those you would probably use more of your consulting side, just in terms of being able to gather requirements and use your technical knowledge to um, help the clients. Um, but if you did want to kind of utilize your computer science. Um, degree as well. Um, our team is probably the team that's more applicable to that. So um, within ServiceNow, uh, we do a lot of JavaScript um, coding as well. And there's also um, different types of integrations that we use in terms of APIs and all that. So um, if you did want to use more of your computer science knowledge um, alongside your um, information systems knowledge in terms of consulting, um, the ServiceNow team would probably be um, a better fit for you as well. But um, Lighthouse is also a great option for you as well, just in terms of being able to use both of those skills. So um, don't hesitate to apply for um, Lighthouse as well if you're interested in data analytics and all that. Awesome. I also um, do just want to shout out that a lot of our teams, when they are screening for these tech-based roles, are looking on your CV for, um, you know, the systems and programs that you have been exposed to. So make sure you list those if it's like SQL or Power BI or anything like that. Um, make sure you list those on your CV or your application um, because that might just push you ahead of other candidates. Um, and just to shout out, we do get like a lot of candidates. So yeah, just I would recommend putting some time and effort into your application because yeah team are looking for those kind of things um but yeah do we have any other questions um feel free to pop them in the chat or if you wanted to come off mute um that would be even better I might just throw one to Jack and Accentha about the sort of the support when you come on as a graduate um, in terms of like learning and your first few weeks. Um, how did that go for you? Yeah, maybe I can speak to that first. Um, so KPMG is great in terms of how um, it kind of helps you along the way in your first couple of weeks. So everyone's assigned a buddy within their own team um, and they kind of yeah, show you the ropes um, and kind of make sure you're comfortable um, in those first couple of weeks. And um, another thing that I didn't mention is the training opportunities that KPMG provides. So they provide, we have a partnership with Microsoft, which um, basically allows us to do free technical training. So all the Microsoft Azure cloud certifications um, are free to take um, if you're working for KPMG. Uh, and also there's more of the soft skill training. Um, so from a consulting point of view, 
uh, there's yeah a wide variety of um, specialist training given by I guess yeah the best in the business in terms of um, the consulting side of things as well. Yep. So I can add on to that. Like Jack had mentioned, we all do get our buddies, like all the grads, regardless of what division I guess you're getting put into. Um, we get our buddies and sort of your first point of contact after having just communicated with HR till then. But yeah, so we get them. And I guess one of the benefits for my team is that since we sit within the wider audit division, you also have like your whole wider audit cohort to be your extended like friend circle who it's glad good to like ease into the work life with. Um, training wise, when I started, it was amazing. So we had our first few two weeks of like just audit training. And once we rolled off that, the DNI team has their specific training for us since we're uh, at a unique conjunction of supporting the audit teams and we have our own set of processing. We get we get our training just for that. And then they ease you into the workload. So you sort of work on like smaller dummy files, which even if you mess up, like it's not the end of the world. So it was great that way. And they're like constantly available for any questions and they have like their own courses and affiliations to help you get the support you need to get where you wanna be. So um, support wise, it's great. And they constantly ask for feedback on whether you do wanna learn more or whether they could support you in any other way in like assuming you do wanna like develop your analytic skills and they haven't provided it to you, they're open for feedback and will do anything they could to help you get that, help you upskill where you want to. So it was a great few months. And then, yeah, it's like a good mix of autonomy and teamwork. They trust you enough to run it on your own, but they've always got your back so that you could fix whatever goes wrong. So it's a great environment to learn in. Awesome, thanks both. Um... Doesn't look like we have any other questions yet. Um, I have just popped in the chat our contact details. So if you have any other questions after this session, our email address is jobs at kpmg.co.nz. So feel free to reach out to us um, if you have any. Um, otherwise, hopefully we are on campus soon, maybe. Um, yeah, hopefully next year we're back to in-person expos, which will be very exciting. But yeah, I realize you've all been, um, you've probably all zoomed out after, you know, the year of, couple of years of COVID. So um, big thanks again for attending today. Um, but yeah, I believe this is recorded. So if you want to go back and listen to anything again, feel free to. Cool. Well, thanks very much to Linnea and the team. Thanks to everybody who joined us. Um, and as Linnea said, if you have any questions, get in touch with them through our details or chase them down through, through um, LinkedIn.